Breaking news that's coming in right now. Karnataka Congress leaders, including Siddharamaya and Dinesh Gundu Rao, have taken out a protest march to Chief Minister B.S. Yediyurappa's office over the Bidar sedition case. Congress is alleging that the state government is misusing the police department. A school in Bidar was booked under sedition law over anti-CA play. We want to go to CM President, but they are not allowing. Huh? No, still they are not. This is a police state in Karnataka. They are using police to curtail a fundamental. So, we are protesting against this fascist government in Karnataka, against Mr. Yurappa, and making using police to curtail our freedom of uh, fundamental rights. My colleague Nagarjun Dwarkanath is now joining me live from Bengaluru on this story. Nagarjun, the police has come in for a lot of criticism in the Bidar case. Uh, now, of course, the opposition has been alleging that the imposition of the sedition law, the invoking of the sedition laws against the headmistress and the mother of a student was at the behest of the state government. Well, that is true. In fact, Paul, let me just before telling you what happened earlier, uh, let me show you what is actually, actually happening here. Uh, at the, the Maurya Junction, where uh, Siddharma and others got arrested. I can see the police have dispersed the crowd, but heavy security is still deployed even now. Just moments before uh, Siddharma and Dinesh Gundura were arrested. Okay, we will try and reconnect with my colleague Nagarjun. Let's listen in to what the former Chief Minister of Karnataka, Siddharamaya, had to say. Every leader of our party should have been allowed in the, the, the Chief Minister's office. Our program is to attack Chief Minister's office. Right, we have Nagarjun back with us. Nagarjun, take us through what you were telling us earlier about the protest, which, of course, the Congress is uh, has embarked on and wants to go to the Chief Minister's office, but they've been stopped. Okay, we will try and get more updates from my colleague Nagarjun later, but the Congress, of course, there opposing the imposition of sedition laws against a school and its headmistress and the mother of a student in Bidar. Now, after spending two weeks in jail, students, a mother and teacher of Karnataka's Bidar school were, in fact, finally granted bail on Friday. The primary school in North Karnataka's Bidar shot to limelight after the institution was booked under sedition for staging an anti-CAA play. Nolan Pinto reports. Big relief for mother of 11-year-old student and headmistress of Shaheen school in Karnataka's Bidar. After spending 14 days in jail over an alleged anti-citizenship law play, the two women have finally been given bail by a district court in Bidar. Appearing for the two women, advocate Narayan Ganesh argued that this was a politically motivated case and the play did not create any unrest or amount to sedition. We have put forth before the Honorable Sessions Court. The, their name have not been, not been arrayed in a, as an accused in a FIR complaint. And there are not a single allegations upon these petitioners. Therefore, we have put forth before the Honorable Sessions Court the very much prima facie uh, battle to grant the bail. On February 12th, the Shaheen School Administration, where the anti-CAA play was performed, denied staging any such play and went on to claim that Modi government's policies were not criticised at the group's primary or high school. This came after Karnataka police kept repeatedly questioning students aged between 9 to 12 over the alleged anti-CAA play. Upping the ante against Yedurappa government, Congress leader and former Chief Minister Siddharamaya 
visited the school on Friday and met the girl student who acted in the play. This is deliberate, intentional and illegal. But the big question is, after bail order from Bidar court, will the children caught in this vicious political face-off finally get some relief? With the two women finally securing bail, questions will now be asked of the police as to how the mother, who was not at all mentioned in the FIR, ended up in judicial custody. With video journalist Maduar, Nolan Pinto for India Today in Bidar. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.